Alright, let's go. What's up guys, Empower Qs here, bringing you some more League of Legends action. We are playing some Conqueror Olaf in the top lane. I think it's going to be a pretty darn good matchup. I want to make sure I proc my Conqueror before I fight him. Pop my potions. I think I got him here. Just finish it. <laughs> so Olaf is super strong early game, so sorry about the little delay. Um, Conqueror, I feel like, is really good on Olaf because he kind of falls off late game. So this kind of gives him a... Excuse me. Get out of here. Gives him a late... Uh, late game scaling keystone. So, uh, if you don't know the way that Conqueror works, is you have to be in combat for four seconds, then your next auto attack activates it. So that's why I didn't initiate the combat at first. So as soon as I had some combat in, I go in for the attack and kill him pretty darn easily and quickly. I'm coming, but I don't think I'll be fast enough though. Ouch. Yikes. Wait until he starts taking that. What are you doing? <laughs> Lol. Alright. So that's Conqueror Olaf. Buff transfer complete. So, we're going to go Black Cleaver into Righteous Glory. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, Titanic Hydra. I think the new Dead Man's Plate's going to be awesome. So, we're going to check out some Olaf power. Like I said, I think he's a big abuser of Conqueror. So, we are going to just hold this wave right out here. Trim it up a little bit. Nice work in the bot lane. So, for freeze, we need four minions hanging out right here. So, we want to trim this up a little bit. If there's any more than that, it's going to be a little hard for us to hold. We're going to be maxing Q first for the poke. Nice. So, Malphite pretty much can't be here because, like I said, he... We can just throw the Q at him and run him down. Um, nice. CS Master right here. So we're going to deny him all of this CS, so we're even in CS right now, but this wave is going to freeze out, and he's losing all of this XP right here. Cool. So, deny, deny, deny. Like I said, if he walks up, make sure my combat for Conqueror is going. Look to throw the axe at him. I like to fight him while I have buff up. Ooh. Gonna be Max at Q first. An enemy has been slain. Oh, look at that damage. So we're just gonna heal all that back up from our passive plus our red buff. It's gonna be really good too once we get our ultimate too. So this is going to push now. Kind of broke when I, I walked away. And I tried to engage on it, but that's okay. Still sitting at a nice little advantage here. It's not the easiest for Malphite to farm under tower either, so that's okay. Alright. I'm going to watch out for jungle pressure here. I don't want to get chain lock CC'd by Udyr. Once I have my ultimate now, it's going to be much harder for them to do that. Let's go ahead and get some vision. I have pretty good. I'll say. So, noob mistake walk into a bush before you ward like that because now Malphite knows I have that warded where I really didn't have to give that information away. So since we have some time, we can get the Rift Scuttler right here. Secure our vision. So now we have. Wards here, 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 and we have wards in our bush, right up here. 
as well as river control. So we are pretty safe now. And we are full health. Nice. And this wave's gonna push out to us so we can look to freeze it again and further establish our lead. So we're just looking to last hit here. The might of approaches. Okay, we're gonna max E second too, by the way. No! Ow! So I think this is definitely going to be really good against Malphite too, because the true damage conversion is going to be really helpful against all the armor that he builds. Okay, so we're just going to let this push. We should let our jungler know, because jungler is going to be our stupid. I'm pushing. Easy kill. He's got no vision. He's got no vision, no mana. He's probably back in. Good job by the bot lane. Bot lane that's not feeding. I like it. Good roll by the Akali. I'm assuming Malphite back, so if we want to trim this up a little bit. We want to hold a freeze. Wow. The bot lane. Let's go in and out of the bush to make sure we don't take too much damage. I only need four minions so I can heal up a little bit. again. Perfect. Let's see, Malphite is roaming. There's really not a whole lot I can sell. They're fighting, but I don't think I can really do anything about that. They got it anyways. So, what I want to do now is push the wave. Because we got jungle control, so we can pressure this tower. And it is 70 CS to 38 CS. A little bit of knowledge of minion wave management can get you a long way here in the top lane. So he's using his teleport. Cool. I'm gonna back up. So I got a two level advantage on him. He'll catch up a little bit in CS right here, but I'm not too worried. I also have 2800 gold here. This I can grab my boots. Oh, uh, An enemy has been slain. Had a lot of CC. I'm probably gonna build more treads. I'm just gonna wait for 20 gold and teleport the top lane if I have to. All right. Not too shabby. Come back and protect this wave here. Oh no you don't Malphite Get back here <laughs> You don't want to fight me you don't want to fight me! No, not the candy minion. Go, 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 go. Axe throw! Nice. Alright, so he was really low, so he either has to teleport it back, so I'm just going to push this wave. Landing phase is essentially over anyway, so... I want to start... I want to fish my black cleaver and start building towards my righteous glory. Cool. Oh, I can put some pressure on this tower. Nice. Found my ultimate. Nice. It won't catch me. See ya! Nice. Cool. 
that's the nice thing about Olaf, is I had a feeling once I had my R that I'd be able to get away from most ganks because they're not going to be able to chain lock CC me, which is kind of the point of Udyr kind of Malphite is. Malphite, Udyr tries to stun me, Malphite has a guaranteed alt. But not today. Alright, but we're securing the dragon, which is good. Yeah, Conqueror isn't doing too, too much in the early game, but it got me those early game kills, so not complaining. <laughs> you want the Olaf? You can't handle the Olaf. Pop a little potion here, which I probably should have done earlier. Alright, wanna pressure this tower so my team can pressure more objectives. Man, slaughtered. Honestly, I'm just gonna roam. Gonna head up this way. Malphite's not really gonna accomplish anything anyway, so extending my lead against him really isn't gonna help our team anymore at this point. I could look to try and catch him in the rotation. Going in hot. <laughs> the axe kill. Let's wait for minions and I can rub up. Good stuff. Can I get the SRO 6 and 0 dream? That is the question. Should be a free easy tower. Nice. Yeah, that early game power with Olaf and Conqueror is insane. I melted that Udyr even though he had double buffs and he was a level ahead of me. I was only level 2 during that fight. Let's go get Shelly. Um, which, is, which is just crazy. Alright, good way to stay ahead is to make sure you're taking all the jungle camps. You want to starve your enemy of all the resources that they have. Alright, we gotta be careful of this. There's a lot of them there. We don't want to get Wombo combo. This is probably a bad play at this point, but I think we'll be alright. She jumped in. Nice. Be careful. I'm out. See oh, I got some life still back. I can come back into the fight. Nice. Good shit. The collapse, which is so far ahead, there's just nothing they can do. Yikes. Grab this. I'm actually gonna just teleport back up here and pop Shelly. We can take both these turrets and start pushing towards, uh, finishing off their base. Oh, 5 and 0. Oh, so close. So close. Don't die now. I love Cockroach. It just gives me an excuse to always fight, and I've always been a super aggressive player, and when we lost forever of battle, man, my heart sunk. Passive bullshit. So boring. The 6 and 0, what up? SRO, you'd be so proud of me. <laughs> this game is a total slaughter, though. I don't even know if this counts. We are wrecking their whole team. 
Nice to get a bot lane, that extra. What the heck? Jutsu's on. Alright. I mean, he has to reload, doesn't he? So, like, I don't even get how you get that to proc. Whatever. Who am I to judge? No, I think Olaf is freaking awesome right now. I can keep pressuring this tower. He doesn't do anything to me, so I can just run up. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Just gonna back up, spend my gold, get our building towards my Titanic. Yoinks. Nice. Uh, 50 gold for my Tiamat. I'm gonna wait for it. An ally has been slain. The dives are real. Woo! Let's drink my coffee, chill for a minute. Run, Warwick! Run! Alright. I am so strong right now. Let's check out that damage. So, I've played games before, and around this point, I've only had like 1,200 damage, but once team fights have started, I've seen Conqueror jump all the way up to like four or 5,000. It gets a lot crazier because it's much more of a late game thing. Um, and I'm not really trading that many auto blows with with Malphite. Like I said, it was the early game called Prox, but after that he couldn't fight me anymore, so it's not like I've been in like constant team fights or brawls, um, you know what I mean? But Pop motions. Cool. Nice. That movement speed is gonna be so Super nice for Olaf. Oh, let's see here. I'm going. Oh god! Mistakes were made! Mistakes were made! Damn it. <laughs> I entered. I entered. Damn. That flash after me. Oh wow. Warwick can clean it up. Good job, Warwick. Yeah, it's a turn, I think. Yeah, I get all one auto attacks, you can in. I know how you feel. <laughs> Whoopsies! That's fine. <laughs> I got the 6-0, so it's alright. Alright, we gotta stop throwing. Your team has destroyed I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I still don't understand what the hell she does. No idea. Just group Baron and end. Group Baron and They can't fight us, so we can force the Baron. We'll push in mid lane. Because someone's going to have to keep answering for this bot lane over here. That's why that inhib right there is so good. Uh, once you get that down to force a Baron fight, because it drags someone to the completely opposite side of the map. We just force it. Like I said, they can't do anything about it, so then I can split top. Good shit. Two top, you guys did. So I was split top, work on that tower, has very, very little health left. 
I might see Pico mid. Or we can just group. That's fine. I don't really care. That's not good. Hmm. Interesting play. You have to answer all these minions right here anyway, so. They can walk up and take this and hit for free. I can push this wave in. Yeah. Sweet. I don't want to be stupid. We can just let the minions do most of the damage. Jin gets one simple proc on there and. Potions, potions! Well, we opened up their base completely. I didn't think I'd be able to get to the cast in Orcasai, so I just went for, um... I just went for Udyr. I figured he was just gonna stun me because my ult was almost up anyway, so... Um, what's doing the most damage to me? Let's find out. A little bit of mix, a little bit of everything. I think I just build more health and armor at this point. I think I want to try the new Dead Man's Plate. This seems really cool. They actually added an effect to it that if you're melee, uh, when you discharge the momentum, which is anywhere between 60 and 100 stacks, they also get slowed, uh, which is obviously really, really good for Olaf. Yeah, I group for Inhibs. Who's their strongest one? I think I need to run down the side. I don't know. We have a really good team fight, so I think we just... As long as we don't get captured by Malphite all the time, we're fine here. We just get all three in him, and that should be game. Let's go get this one. Good job, team. Good job, Akali. I like it. Good stuff. Dude, this Olaf is sick. <laughs> like I said, usually the problem with Olaf is late game he falls off and Cocker just, just brings so much more damage. But yeah, look after those few team fights. The damage here doubled in the past like five minutes that I've been playing. So, good stuff. Good stuff. Nice. I think Olaf's freaking awesome right now. I just love that Cocker gives you an excuse to keep fighting. Whereas opposed to like if I was in that lane previously with Malphite, it would just be me as Olaf sitting there throwing axes with Comet to try and poke him. He'd Q poke me and it'd be a very stagnant, boring lane. Um, Cocker gives me the ability to kill him. And that's what's awesome. I love fighting in this game. So I hate the super passive like tank do nothing but if the tanks are killing each other i don't care but that's pretty sweet i like it let's check out the damage not too bad i out damaged akali almost out damaged their kasai i don't think this has been fixed where it tells you how much it does no so that's not cool but i mean damage was awesome but i hope you guys enjoyed that one don't forget to like share subscribe all that good jazz really really appreciate the feedback I am also Twitch streaming now, so the information for that will be in the description as well. So you can come hang out with me while I hit most of my games. And once in a while, I'll get a good recording to show you guys. Well, tune in next time. Peace.